we are plowing through these at a breakneck pace. Feel free uh, to speed me up, slow me down as required. Pause me when you're required. If I say something you're not 100% sure on it, go check out the reference, do some Googling, look into it, see if you can get the concepts really strong in your brain before you uh, carry on. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of maths in this one. Uh, and it's not always exactly like the maths you did at school, as in the symbols are a little bit different sometimes. Be careful with that. Okay. Write a program that will ask the user for a number, save it in a variable called num. Ah, we know how to do that. And then print out the following information using that number with each, each statement on a different line. The number is something, five times the number is, if you add three to num, the answer is, if you divide 20 by that, the answer is. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to say num equals input. For those of you who already know this, this isn't going to work. But for those that don't, um, we're going to run this and we're going to get an error. What is your number? Okay, so here I have created a variable called num. I have said it is definitely equal to, we have set it equal to, with that single equals, what is to what the user puts in when I ask them what is your number. If we just do this now and I say print num, oops. I just say print num and put that out to the console. You, you know what this will say. What is your number? It's five. And it's going to print that out. I don't like that again. I'm going to do the dash n thing, slash n thing. And it's printing it back out. Okay, that's cool. We're not doing anything with it yet, but at least we're getting some input and we're getting some output. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to say, instead of printing number, I want to say five times the number. And how we say times in Python is with that little asterisk there. So num times five. Okay, let's run this. What is your number? Well, my number is going to be eight. And what happens when I push enter? I get eight, 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 eight. Ah, that's not what I expected. What's happening here? Ah. Well, when we ask for input, we get back. Uh, when we ask for a number, when, when we get input from someone here, we're asking for a number, do we get a number back? No, we get a string back. We're expecting uh, eight. We're expecting the number eight. That's not what we got. We, expect, we got back the character eight character eight the string eight not the number but the actual little character the squiggly thing with the circle with the two little circles on it squiggle character eight not the number these are fundamentally different in python in computing strings and numbers are different so how do i turn the character the string eight into the number eight, so I can do some maths with it. Um, well, funny you should ask, there is a function, it is called int. And if I highlight that whole thing, uh, guys and girls, girls and guys, if I highlight that whole thing and just go shift nine, shift bracket, uh, it'll just automatically put it around the whole thing I've highlighted. That's a REPL thing and some other text editors. Very handy. Okay. Uh, now I've turned that into an integer. There are some different kind of numbers. We will get there. Uh, we've turned it into an integer. The number eight. What is my number? It is eight. Print. Number times five. And that is 40. Excellent. Okay. First one's working. Um, be careful though. Write a program that will ask for a number, save it, 
uh, and print out each statement on the following line. I didn't just want to print out 40. I wanted to print out the sentence. The number is this. Five times the number is that. Be very careful, be very deliberate in what you're doing. Okay, so I want to print out. Uh, I'll just sneak it in here. Print string, the number is, and then plus num. For those of you who might know already, this isn't going to work, but for those of you who, who don't, we're going to get an error here. Um, and then I'm going to say uh, five string, five times the number is, and I'm gonna go plus num times five. Okay. My print statement is starting to get a little bit long, but we'll just ignore that for the moment. Okay, let's run this. Whoa, struggling to get both on. Hopefully that's not too small for you. So I'll leave it there for the moment. Hopefully it's not too small. Um, what is your number? My number is eight. Ah, no, big angry red text. Ah, it's telling me something. It's screaming out at me. What is happening? Ah, error messages are your friend. They tell you what is wrong. They tell you how to fix it. So let's read it. Uh, trace back, blah, 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 that's telling you where it is in the file, main.py, that's the file we're in here. Uh, in module, hmm, it doesn't matter. Print, the number is plus num. Okay, that is the code we have written, and there is something wrong with that code. Type error, ooh, type error, something that's wrong with our types. Can only concatenate string, not integer to string. Okay, well, what does concatenate mean? Have you come across that before? Concatenate means to stick together. So rather than adding eight and eight, like we did before, I ended up with eight, 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 eight. I ended up with five eights in a row because they were concatenated. They were put together, stuck together, as opposed to being added together and getting 40. I got eight, 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 eight concatenated. Okay, fancy word for a simple thing. What does this mean? What does this mean? How can I get around this? How can I concatenate, because I want to concatenate, uh, my string and the number? Well, just like we had a function integer that turned my integer into a string, I also have a function that turns my string into an integer. This is type conversion. It's a funky little thing of coding. But yes, we have to do it, because the computer doesn't know the computer doesn't know if we want the number eight or the character eight or the string eight. We have to tell it. And here, doesn't know if I want the number, whatever is stored in number, or if it wants the string. So if I convert it using str, and if I convert this using str, Again, highlighting what I want and shift bracket and puts the bracket around it automatically. Nice. Okay. What is your number? My number is eight. Number is eight. Five times the number is 40. Oh, magic. Fantastic. Cool. Two more to do. Uh, if you add three to the number, the answer is if you divide 20 by the number, the answer is. So here we go. Print. Uh, string, if you add three to, uh, if you add three to plus str num, plus string, oh my goodness. The answer is, plus str whoo, um, num plus three. I think we got there. 
That's an awfully long um, print statement. Uh, that is very hard to read. We're gonna leave it where it is so that we feel the pain of how hard to read and how hard to write that print statement was. The next one, I'm gonna show you something a little bit more advanced if you want to. Uh, you can do this advanced way if you want to. There's no need to, you can keep doing this at the moment. Eventually, it will be better to adopt this new way of writing out string. Okay, uh, let's check that's working. The more, uh, the more regularly you check, the better your life will be. Um, add in another space there for formatting. Uh, capital I at the front, make it look tidy. Still working with eight. Yeah, that looks nice and tidy. Okay. Here's something a little bit uh, more advanced to make that look a little bit tidier. Now, previously, and I think in other videos, I have used the dot format method. If you know what that is, great. If you don't, I think I might stop using it. I'm gonna do something else, which is a new feature of Python. Very, very new. Only came out Python 3.6, I think. Um, and we are able to do it like this. Print. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an F before I write my string. Why am I ending up with three here? So if you, If you divide in curly brackets num by what was it 20 num divided by 20 and num divided by 20 there that's how we do dividing in Python little slash okay I'm not confident in this. I'm not sure that this is actually going to work here. That F should have changed color. This F should have changed color on me, but it's still conspicuously orange, and I don't like that. Let's run it, let's see if I get an error. If I get an error, I'll show you the old way of doing it. This version of Python might not be recent enough. What is my number? Eight. It worked, it worked, fantastic. If you divide eight by 20, the answer is uh, 0 0.4. Now, just compare for a moment. Compare for a moment that how much easier line five is to read than line four. Line four, if you add three to, I'll oh, finish that string, then convert that string to, uh, that number to a string and add the pluses on either side, add some extra spaces in there for formatting and. And you've got to do that same thing again over here, but with your calculator here, F strings, F strings. Oh, they do it all for you. Put an F before your string. Uh, what is the F for? Uh, formatted, it's formatted string, it's an F string. If you divide, and in curly brackets, lovely curlies, num, might just zoom in a bit for you. If you divide num, and it's all formatted, by 20, the answer is num divided by 20. It is so much easier to read, so much easier to understand. You should use them, F strings. There we go. Okay, I believe we are done for this one. We'll see you for the next question.